New details now on the woman who was hit by a ripped bus this morning. Eyewitnesses say she was stuck under the vehicle, but remarkably was conscious and talking when they reached her side. New at 6, we're hearing more from passengers who saw it happen. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Shannon, the accident happened here near this corner. Eyewitnesses tell us they saw the woman under the bus. They also heard her screaming as well as the bus driver screaming. Eyewitness News on the scene in Wayland Square where a 56-year-old woman was hit by a ripped bus. All of a the sudden there was like a scream, like a lady, like, like really horrible screaming and then a big thump. Nila Laris was on the bus when the accident happened. She said the bus had just dropped off a passenger and was going through the intersection of Wayland Avenue and Angel Street when the bus collided with the woman who was walking across the street. Everybody went to, towards her and calmed her down and told her that she was going to be fine and she was like bleeding on her head, but she was still talking. Other eyewitnesses also rushed to help. Her whole body was under the bus and her head uh, was like right almost like out, out of the, the bus, but she was in the middle section of the bus. Uh, when I came around, I really was expecting the worst. A RIPTA spokesperson tells us the bus driver involved will undergo drug and alcohol testing, which is protocol after any accident. We've also learned the driver has been a RIPTA employee since 1993. The woman was taken to Rhode Island Hospital for treatment. At this hour, no word on her name or her condition. As for the bus driver, we're told she is on paid administrative leave while the investigation is ongoing. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.